phone booth. He says, I know my opponent's from a good gym. I really like his coach, uh, Caitlin Young, a lot. He's a good guy. It is what it is. Yeah, he's looking to fight for sure, especially with those shorts on. You got to put on a performance. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next bout, bout is brought to you by the Seville. It is taking place at 159 pounds. It's a big class fight right here. First out of the blue corner, a veteran of seven fights, stepping in at 28 years of age and standing at six foot tall, weighing in at 157 pounds. Representing the Striking Institute from Honolulu, Hawaii, Gabe Rayco! And his opponent out of the red corner, a veteran of nine fights, standing at six foot one, weighing in at 152 pounds, representing Mark 44 MMA from El Paso, Texas, Ricky, Ricky Tiki Tally Rodriguez. And your referee for the action is Tony Storm. This is gonna be a B-class fight here. So these guys are gonna have a couple fights underneath their belts. So it's for sure gonna be a lot of technical, a lot of high high output. Which means class B fights means there's no shin guards. No shin guards, yeah. So you know, so it's gonna you can feel everything. The only thing they gotta worry about is like you know they got elbow pads, so you don't have to you know get cracked with a nice elbow and get cut. But the shins are, are coming hard. Gabe Branco in the blue corner in the black and red trim shorts, in the Mexican flag adorned more tie trunks is Ricky Rodriguez. You do not wear that flag on you. Unless you're willing to take a punch <laughs> and give one. That's his uh, game plan looks like, too, so <laughs> see how it goes. Took it at last-minute notice. Ricky Rodriguez speaks volumes to the type of character he has. Mm. Branko is no slouch, very tough fighter. Yes. See the Navy blue trunks by Branko. Ooh, heavy right kick off right off the bat by Branko. Left right punch. Nice look, you know, blocking from Rodriguez here. Rodriguez left right punch connects again, trying to stay long. Mm, nice knees by Gabe. Rodriguez going to, looking to. Uh, Branko going to the body. Smart move on a fighter that's last minute. Always got to think the body is probably going to be mm -hmm. your quickest way to victory. Yeah, it's a little gas tank of. Uh, but you know, Mexican fighters, they're always coming to fight regardless of the. Most dangerous when they're tired. Yeah, <laughs> they, they, they got no quit in them. I'm going to fix the elbow pad here on Gabe. Both fighters, center ring. Rodriguez is half ball here. See if he uses that left kick. Two kicks, left right punch, misses by Rodriguez. Branko marching forward. Center ring is Branko. Left right punch by Branko, misses the mark. Both these guys are still feeling each other out. Yeah, nice body shot by Ricky there. Little you know, slapping body shot. Ooh, yeah. overhand right connects. He seems to be switching stands, too. I think he's getting in the way of uh, Gabe's range. Nice body kick. Yeah, right that, kick there. That effect, you saw the wince of Rodriguez on that kick, mm -hmm. upon receiving that kick. And yeah, Gabe seems to look a little bit bigger than Rodriguez here. Right? He has some meat on his legs. Nice kick, nice block there by Rodriguez. And see if he uses a step off to uh, trying to catch uh, Gabe coming in. Rodriguez seems to be switching his lead foot. Mm -hmm. Overhand right by Rodriguez. Yeah, he's in. Shelling up Rodriguez, pushing the action is Branco. Yeah, Rodriguez seems to be throwing more punches here. Rodriguez isn't throwing with immense power. Mm -hmm. He's just landing, even that kick, not, not a lot of power on a kick. Oh, Branco nice. there was. Yeah. Branco just threw a fastball right there. Nice step back. Yeah, man, you get, with these guys that are pressuring you, you got to hit them with something hard to get them to respect you a little bit and kind of not always be following you and give, give you some room to breathe. Get Tommy Madlin in the corner with Caitlin Young in the corner of uh, Gabe Branco. Gabe Branco by way of Hawaii. 
for the weather decided to move to Minnesota. Ooh, I think there's an looks, issue. Looks like Rodriguez's hand might or arm might be hurt from one of those kicks there. Oh. I don't know if it's a shoulder or an arm. I think it, I think it was an arm. I think he ah, might be Ah, you know, it's a shoulder. He shoulder? Gets, oh, it's his, is it his hand? Yep, yeah, it's his left hand. Yeah, uh, having issues, arm, yeah. Having issues getting that glove off. Yeah, when you take those punches to the form with just shins, it, it, it makes a difference with uh, shin guards. You know, and shin guards, you can take it more, but like I said, you know, Gabe has some big legs. You know, that's, that's a lot of power coming at you. Yo, when your wife is the TBA champion. Multiple time, I believe. Multiple time. <laughs> It's a, it's a hard walk back into the house yeah. if you don't have a good performance. <laughs> no, yeah, they're, they both they both are always willing to fight. They're always putting their best yeah. foot forward there. Yeah. You, you know, both class acts. Yeah. Both class acts, absolutely. And, and his wife constantly goes to the body, legs. Mm -hmm. She is a nightmare to fight, especially if you haven't done your sit-ups. <laughs> yeah, you got to work your core, especially taking those knees to the body. It's a different game when you, you know, you're able to throw your whole power with your legs and your knees. We're gonna make this one official. Send it to the ring announcer. I had already left your elite ring is Joey Rodriguez. Uh, whatever he's going through must be serious because he's generally always wanted to go through the hand raising ceremony. I don't think that's any disrespect to his opponent, Gabe Ranko. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The corner called a halt to the action in between rounds. Your winner at two minutes of the second round by TKO, Gabe Branco! Good performance. Yeah, we had noticed, mm -hmm. like we had said, that Rodriguez just wasn't throwing with the power that he normally does. Yep. In a compromised hand. That would do it. And 